Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Ian at All Out Adventure. Today's video, I'm going to be taking a big, beautiful beast out into a bit of the mud, fun in the mud, and I'm going to be giving you the full lowdown on the new Mita's E09 Dakar tyres. They are an 80% off road, 20% on road tyre. So I'm going to give you my full opinion on these tyres. And if you are in the market for a new tyre, these might be suited to you. Uh, I'm going to take them to the muddiest place that I can find in Scotland. And uh, yeah, we're going to give them a good run out. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you are new to my channel and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let's get after it. <coughs>
So guys, you've seen from today's riding, um, it was obviously quite muddy and wet down there where I was, and I, I did say that I would try and do a full video on the uh, the newly installed rally mode uh, on the KTM 890 Adventure R. Um, I didn't get it tested to its full extremities uh, just because the ground was so boggy. However, that being said, if I hadn't had the rally mode and played about with it, there's some terrain down there today that I just wouldn't have been able to navigate. Um, so it was definitely worth, uh, in my opinion, definitely worth the purchase for the bike for my style of riding. Um, the normal off-road settings that you get on this bike are pretty good. However, not being able to play about with those different, uh, the, the, the way the back tyre swings and having so much play in it, um, that definitely helped me today. So it was worth the investment. Um, it's just a shame at KTM actually make you pay for the rally mode as an add-on as opposed to just coming with the bike, considering what the bike's um, designed for. Uh, but all in all, yeah, I'm very impressed with the rally mode. You can see the different uh, hill climbs and the different sections of mud I was going through today. Uh, and predominantly, I stuck with uh, rally mode level 5. Through the levels 1 to 9, I found that level 5 was a happy medium for me. Uh, and I had the ABS set to off-road. And then I played with the traction control on and off. And I found that keeping the traction control on off-road and then rally mode on level 5 was, was perfect. Um, but once I get to a bit more stable ground and uh, get to play about with it a bit more, I'll be able to give a, a much more in-depth view. If you're the type of rider that just enjoys the trans -Euro trails and getting out in the woods and just enjoying a bit of uh, off-roading um, and not the you know the enduro-style stuff that I do, then maybe just the off-road uh, would be good enough for you and you maybe not need to spend that money. However, the rally mode with the throttle response, uh, it just feels a lot more snappier. You get a much more off-road bike feel to it. Uh, and you can really throw this thing around. Um, but yeah, just due to the nature of the ground today, and it was so boggy, I didn't really get to test it out fully. Um, but yeah, impressed with the rally mode. Uh, if you are an aggressive rider and you are taking these things off-road like I do, uh, I would suggest them looking into it. Um, it's probably worth the purchase. Uh, really good system. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, and uh, I look forward to the next one.